Oh, hey guys, Boss and Fan back with some more TTM returns. It's been a while, um, but I have some saved up. I've got five to report on today. Some new guys, some good ones. We'll get down to it. So first one was one of three in 16 days. I sent all the same card because that's what I could find. Um, and he didn't sign or return the duplicates. And that would be Mike Loind of the Texas Rangers. Nice to get him. I uh, hadn't gotten him before. Um, and of course, I love getting 87 top signed. Um, he played two years for the Rangers, career three and seven with a 582 ERA and two saves. There's not much to speak of if his career is really short. Um, when he came up, I think Bobby Valentine was a fan um, and pitched him a lot and, and it didn't quite work out so well. Um, but glad to add this new addition to the collection for autographs, really cool. Always love adding a new baseball player. Next one, five of five, 20 days, no fee is Mike Bilecki. So I had him, he signed his 86 tops traded, 90 Donruss, shout out to Brendan Stebbins, 91 Ultra, which I thought was a really cool action picture, 89 tops, which bubbled a little bit, and his 90 upper deck. We're gonna go at 91 Ultra. So Mike Bilecki uh, played for, pitched for 14 seasons in the major leagues for the Pirates, the Cubs, the Braves, the Indians, and the Angels. Um, his career, he went 70 and 73 with a 418 ERA. In 1989, which he, I believe he pitched in the Wrigley Field's first night game. I have that card, I think, unsigned. So I need to, as next time I send to him, because of course I got a billion cards of Mike Bilecki. Um, I have to include that because that's a fun little project that I've seen people do. But anyway, 1989, he went 18 and 7 with a 314 ERA, four complete games, three shutouts, helping the Cubs go to the playoffs that year. Um, and so nice to add him. I've gotten him before a couple of years ago, and I just thought it was time to send to him again. Next up, two of two, 20 days, $20 fee. And this is a funny story, especially when you see it. So I've been waiting and waiting to send this. I'll show you who it is. It's none other than the Eck. Um, I wrote this letter and had this all addressed in early June. Um, but then I already moved and I was waiting to see if there'd be RTSs or a new address and I didn't send it and I didn't send it and I didn't send. And finally enough people were getting it back that I was like, fine, I'll send it. Sent $10 each, so a $20 fee. And it came back last Friday when a hurricane was passing offshore of Massachusetts, but we got torrential rain. Um, and so it was the only day we got torrential rain. And so it sat in my mailbox all day. Our sump pump, part of it broke. So I didn't get the mail out and it got soggy and there's some, you know, it's a little bit warped, unfortunately, but nice to add. He signed my Hall of Fame postcard. Um, signed nicely, even though I didn't prep the bottom half. I only usually prep the top. And he signed my 76 rookie card. Awesome to add, a Hall of Fame rookie. Um, I got that years ago on Com C for like five bucks. So glad to send that out. After I'd seen so many people get him, I was like, I need to finally send this. So I stuck, I, ha I even had the money in the envelope just sitting there on my entryway table um, and finally just stuck the stamps on it and, and got it out. Cause I was just like, you know what? He's signing, people are getting him back. And then of course it had to come back on the, not the one, cause we had a lot of rain in Massachusetts, but like recently on the like one super rainy day. Um, next up, three of three, 21 days, no fee is Jerry Brown. So Jerry Brown had a 10 year career um, I didn't note who he played for, though he did play, obviously, for the Texas Rangers. Um, in 87, he, as a rookie, he hit 271, scored 38 runs, and had 27 steals. And he signed my 88 tops, my 87 Donruss rated rookie, which is really cool, and my second 80, 88 tops. Since I sent to him, I also realized he's on an 87 Fleer rookie card with Mike Stanley that I have signed by Mike Stanley. So. I'll have to do my diligence, wait again for, you know, I usually wait a year and then try to get that out to him because I'd love to complete that as a multi-signed rookie card. Um, didn't realize it when I was sending to him in the first place, but only after reviewing my, uh, looking through my notebook. Um, but he's brand new to the collection, glad to add him. You know, um, I thought he had had a fee for a while, but then I had seen that he was signing for free on SCN, so I sent it out to him. Last one, two of two, seven days, no fee. 
great TTMR manager, Tom Kelly, signed his 93 tops and his 89 Donruss. All-star card for me. Um, he was a manager of the Twins for 16 years, um, 2,385 games. Of course, he was a two-time World Series champion, uh, winning in 87 and 91. You see on the 89 Donruss, American League team, put that up. Um, he had 1,140 wins in his career. Uh, and interesting, out of all those games and all those wins, he's only ejected five times from a baseball game, which I thought was pretty amazing. Um, he had a career 478 win percentage. I always kind of thought of Tom Kelly as borderline Hall of Fame manager because of his two World Series wins. But upon research, you know, and I try to send to him about once a year. He signs two cards only. Um, I figured, hey, maybe he'll make the Hall of Fame. I should, you know, make sure I get these out. Seeing that win percentage kind of makes me think, mm, he's probably not going to make the cut. Two World Series wins certainly puts him up there, but his other seasons weren't the greatest. Um, his great seasons were great, like 1991 going from worst to first, and he was part of a Twins rebuild that certainly hurt that winning percentage, but I think it's going to make him fall just short. Anyway, those are the five that I've gotten back most recently. Um, love to hear your comments on which one was your favorite or if you've sent any of these guys. Or if there's someone I should send to that might be a teammate or, or something like that. I love, you know, I'm always looking for ideas of who to send to next. Um, trying to get as many out as I can. I'll try to make more videos. I'm, I've certainly been lack, slacking in that area, but, you know, doing my best. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. If you haven't already, I'd love a subscription. I'm slowly creeping up there. I'm around 260-ish now, I think, and I'd love to hit that 300 at some point. I do have a small prize waiting to give away when I hit 300. Not great, but also not terrible. Um, and so I'm slowly looking for stuff to add to that giveaway. Um, but anyway, thanks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some information on who to send to, who's signing, and I will talk to you guys again soon.